So that's, that's the camera my father used then and that I kind of grew up having pointed at me when I was a kid, you know. And it took the pictures that recorded the week his father spent with one of the most famous artists of modern times. The plate was given to Jonathan's father by Picasso to celebrate the week they spent together in the south of France back in 1964 after a chance meeting on the beach. The Surrey amateur photographer pictured here with the man himself kept the gift and the photos in an old sock drawer. My father was not a fan of Picasso's as an artist. He thought he was a lovely man, but didn't like the art. You know, his taste was sort of much more 19th century and Rubens and, and Constable and sort of representational stuff. And Picasso was a bit out there for him. So I'll just put it in the sock drawer. Absolutely. He knew it was valuable, worth keeping, and put it in the bottom of his chest of drawers. Pablo Picasso never stops working. Ceramist, sculptor, painter, in one medium and another, the flow of his art is... Picasso's works sell for tens of millions of pounds. The photographs Jonathan's dad took show him enjoying the company of friends he even sometimes used as human canvases. Stanley, he says, was not phased by the painter's fame one jot. He just took it completely in his stride. You know, he was very pleased to have met Picasso and then you move on and do whatever's next. But most people would have said hi. There must have been something magnetic about his personality that he invited him back to his home and he was taking pictures of him over the whole time. He, w he just had charm, you know. He was one of these people who could walk into a room at a party and everyone knew he was there and everybody loved him. Now a Picasso exhibition is being curated at the local gallery in Woking. This discovery was actually the beginning of the whole Picasso fiesta which is happening at the Lightbox because Jonathan has been a great supporter of ours, he lives just down the road and happened to mention in a totally chance conversation that he had all these photographs. The exhibition starts next month. Jonathan says he'll not sell his late father's photographs at any price, they're just part of his family's history. Sarah Harris. BBC London News.